Here we are, 2017, November 20th, yep. 24th, 24th. Yep. This is the end of two weeks, two long weeks, and two workshops. We've been going um, 12 hours a day for five days in each week. It's our Purple Heart Project, where we bring five wounded, uh, six wounded veterans in with six civilians. The civilians pay as a normal student would, so that we can bring the civilians. Well, into every life, a little rain must fall. Meet rain. <laughs> but in this case, rain makes things grow. This guy's been my right-hand man. Our program has worked like clockwork. Luther is uh, ex-military, retired as a colonel in the Army. And uh, he's, <laughs> he's used to having things run his way, and his way is smooth and organized. My, it's name, not my, my name's Helter Skelter. I'm the guy that works out front and, and, and drums, up, drums up the interest and kind of gets things started. But I'm not the guy in the back room to make it all make sense. He is. He sends me spreadsheets so that I can keep track of the spreadsheets he sends me. Can't thank him enough for the work that he's put in. And this, this program, if it is successful in 10 years' time, it will be because of the groundwork that he has laid. So I'm going to let him talk just for a minute and, and kind of give a wrap up from his perspective how these last two weeks have been. We've had 12 wounded, disabled, very deserving veterans roll through the program. And I think we've had how many civilians? This time around? Yeah. We had eight, eight and six. Eight and six. So 14. Yeah, eight and six. What do you think? Well, thanks, Rob. Generous words, uh, but uh, the truth be known, uh, everyone comes because of Rob, and Rob gives his heart to the program, and more importantly, uh, I personally witnessed the, the personal mission that Rob feels in both helping uh, wounded warriors and just helping anyone who out there who wants to learn about traditional hand tool woodworking. Uh, so it's, it's easy to go around and organize, but uh, I can't cut a dovetail like Rob does, and, so, and I can't teach like Rob does. So. So, you can't say you can't like me either. Well, you can't say you can't like you either. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's what I, I went to school to learn that in South Kakalaki. So. But, you, uh, didn't pick a, that, it, you didn't pick that up in Washington? No, no, not in Washington, where I am from Seattle right now. But hey, congratulations. <laughs> that was a great, great class it this was, time. It was. Um, we can't forget the man behind the camera. No. Well, Jake's back there falling asleep. We try to teach him. He's kind of a tough... He's a tough project in, uh, uh, in progress, but we'll keep working on it. Uh, but I think what's is really cool, Rob, is you, know, you look at the, uh, your apron oh, and all yeah. the vet's patches that, we, that represent a vet that you helped uh, last, uh, six months ago. Here's the, here's the patches of all the current vets. Uh, and, and so each one of these represents a face. We've had some great stories. I mean, if you could be here we take breaks and folks introduce themselves and they feel comfortable they bond as a team civilians and the veterans and the the veterans open up and and there's a lot of tears that we shed this time yeah. and uh and the veterans tell us that uh it, it 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 really achieves the mission that we set up which is to give them something that helps them go to a quiet place of of concentration to gain that therapy of peace and joy when they need it uh, for when that dark, dark period comes over them. We had Rex, the uh, Vietnam yeah. veteran. So, you know, uh, infantryman, tough combat in 68 and, and... Full year in the jungle. Full year. Uh, radio man for six months of that. Saw a lot of friends die. And, and recently, all those memories have been coming back and, and, and he's experienced PTSD. And, and they just realized... That they call they call it that. Yeah. So all these and, years and, later, and and even that. So we we, uh, we take all comers. We um, we also appreciate any help that you can give. I, I got to tell you that our two biggest obstacles for continuing this program right now is one, getting the word out about Purple Heart program to veterans who can benefit from this, and two, to civilians who like to come here learn about woodworking, and get the extra benefit of being here. We can't do it without the civilians. We need help from those who can help us with the program because raising the funds to put this on is still a challenge. Um, if you're 
watching this, I ask you to go to the Purple Heart uh, menu tab. If you click on that tab, and then go down to how you can help, we have a donation page. Uh, anywhere from the pine level at $50 all the way to if you could sponsor a, a veteran for the full cost, which is $3,500, we would, we would really, really appreciate that. That's, you know, we're not a big organization, and uh, we, this is just a program that's just starting, and it's a struggle every day to, to get the funds to do this. 100% of your donation uh, goes to the project. We take no administrative fees, so we'd ask you to help. So, Rob, I'll tell you, I just had a great time. I always have a great time. Yeah. Uh, shed a couple tears. We had tons of laughs. And it's great to watch these you guys You know the only grow. thing we're missing? What's that? Bald peanuts. Bald peanuts and grits. No, we don't need grits. <laughs> Nor do we need bald peanuts. <laughs> but anyway, come join us. April. Next April. Time. April is our next one. The uh, dates are on the site. You will get uh, a ton of learning and develop skills in woodworking. And the camaraderie, camaraderie will be a bonus that you will not soon forget. The last thing I want to do is just... Shout out to uh, those. Woodcraft. Woodcraft, yeah. Woodcraft stores. Uh, several of the store owners have stepped up to the plate and they've provided most of the tools. But I also wanted to just, uh, anyone who knows a disabled veteran, we have an online workshop where we broadcast a half hour training episode five days a week. Those are stored. You can watch them anytime. There's over 1,700 of them already on there. It provides you with the motivation, the training, and the step-by-step -step to be able to build these things. You know, any disabled veteran, we give them a lifetime membership at no charge. And it'll help them if they identify it as a hobby they want to get involved in and they can't afford the tools. We have a tool fund that we um, are able to send small kits of tools to these guys at no cost to help them get started. More of that information is on our site, as Luther mentioned. But we need you to be able to put the word out. That's our best way of getting it to the people who really need it. We appreciate your support. And I appreciate hey, your support. Be back and in April. Jake, as well. Thank you.